Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So today we're going to be looking at spreadsheets from paper four from the information technology course. And we're looking at the February, March paper H1 23. So this paper's out of 90 marks. And we're going to be completing the spreadsheet section in this particular paper. Okay, so task three spreadsheet. The first thing we need to do is open up sales um, file in the spreadsheet application. So I've got a file already opened here. Okay, there's one sheet. And the first task is to define some ranges. So from C5 to G14, so C5 will be here to G14. We need to call this content data. So let's do that. So C5 G14, we can right click, select define name, and then call this data. So anytime we highlight these cells, it'll automatically change the data. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is look at B5 to B14. So B5 is here to B14, and this is going to be called times. So we can highlight this, right click, define name, and type in here times. So anytime we refer to these cells, um, it's going to be called times. And I'm going to color this in a different color. And days is going to be from C4, which is here, to G4. So let's just color this in something else. Okay. Now what we're doing, not coloring in, defining a name, it's going to be days. Okay, done. Let me just check one thing. Um, right, so this is called days, this is called times, and then this is data. Okay, first part is done. Okay. I want to see if I can highlight these cells. Oh, I can't really. Right, it doesn't matter. Right, in cell J4, I'm just going to change that back to the original color. Add a drop down list to select a time period as shown. Okay, so it's going to be morning, afternoon, or all day. So J4 is here. Right now, there is no drop down menu. So we can just search for validation up here. We can say list. And we want to show morning, afternoon, or all day. So the morning will refer to these times, afternoon will be these times, and all day will be all. Okay, so let's type in here morning. And then afternoon. And then all day. Done. Wait, let me just see um, if we need to include anything else. Now, what I'm going to do is normally, sometimes it might ask us to include an import message. And in this exam paper, it's not asking. But just so you know, for future reference, we're going to put um, an import message. So select time period. I'm just going to put time and then ask the message. Um, error. So it's not asking me to do this in this paper, but if you have to do it in the future, at least you know you need to and select. Okay, so let's see what happens. So time, select time. So that's the import message. Um, if I try typing in something else, you need to select from the menu. So morning, afternoon, all day. Okay, so that wasn't necessary for this paper, but if you need to do that in a future paper, then at least you know if you're watching this video. Right, in cells K5 to 05, or 05. Yeah. So K5 to 05, so where is that? K5 here to 05. 
add formulas to calculate the total sales for the time period selected from the drop down list. Okay, so what we're going to do is Um, just let me think. Right, it's going to be an if statement. Um, we need to check if this cell is equal to morning. And if it is, then we need to add up basically all of the morning sales. So all of these here from C5 uh, to C9. Okay. And if that's not true, the afternoon will be from C10 to C14. And if that's not true, we're going to add up from C5 to C14. Okay. So, and we're going to be referring to this column. So when you do drag it across to Tuesday, then it's going to be in this column and so forth. So let's go ahead and do this. So give yourselves a bit of time to think. You know, don't rush into answering a question. So if this cell here, this cell has to be locked because we're going to be dragging it across. Let me just lock it. It's equals to morning. Okay. And if that's true, then we want to just sum from here to here. Close the bracket. And if that's not true, we can check for another condition. So if this cell here, let's lock it again. It's equals to afternoon and if that's true then we can sum up these values here okay we're not going to lock these because remember we are dragging it across so these columns will change to this depending which day we're looking at let's close the bracket and if it's not morning or afternoon then it has to be all day so um yeah, so add formulas to calculate total sales for the time period selected from the drop down menu. So the last option is all day. And we can just do a sum. So um, so if it's not going to be morning and afternoon, then it will be all day. Close the bracket and close the bracket until you get back to a black one. Enter. So we've got 40. Okay. If I go to, so that's the morning period. Okay. If I was to do. Let's check if this is working. So Monday. Yeah, that gives me 40. Um, if I change that to afternoon. I'm hoping to see it's 19. And all day. 59. So that's 40 plus 19. That's fine. It's working. So let me just change that back to morning and let's see what the question paper looks like so actually it's afternoon just drag this across 19 19 18 and just double check here 18 17 12 yep that's fine and for all day 59 57 59 let's check if that's yep that looks like it's working okay done so we can rename this as a select period. And you can save this um, as save this workbook as a spreadsheet uh, named sales data followed by your center and candidate number. So at this point, save it. So this would be the first version. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to copy the contents from A1 to G14. So A1, A1 is here to G14, you can see G14. And when you copy the cells to a new workbook in the same, to a new worksheet, we need to make sure we're reading it properly, in the same workbook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here. Did I press copy? Let me just go to copy, paste. Let me just see. Um, copy. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go to first option. Okay, it's fine. It hasn't kept the defined names, but that's fine. That's for that first particular sheet. So now what we need to do is we need to rename the worksheet to select date. Okay, and we need to edit and format the worksheet so it looks like this. So we decrease the size of the H column. Okay, and we're going to include this information here. So I is slightly bigger, so select day. It's going to copy this. I don't want to merge it, I should have just typed it out. Okay, select day. Just take off uh, many orders. And that's going to be merged. Just put the borders in. Do we have borders for here? It doesn't look like we've got grid lines. Um, It's quite hard to tell. I think it has got grid lines. It's quite hard to tell that. But anyway, yeah, let's put the grid lines in. So what I'm going to do is let's put the colors in first of all. Change the colors around now. It's trying to find the same color. I don't know how to use the eyedropper tool in there. It's a custom. Do you know what I'm going to do? Let's just use our initiative. Copy this over into here. So you've got the same colors. And let's just unmerge this for now. Done. Okay, so I'm sure there's another way of getting the same colors, uh, but anyway, I've done it now. So what we need to do now is select day. We've got day, we got in here, it's going to be, looks like another drop down validation menu. So we've got day, sales. Just want to keep that formatting, so let me just. Okay, we've done that morning, afternoon, all day. Okay, let's see all is a capital D. So I'm just making sure it's exactly as it appears in the spreadsheet. Okay. So what we need to do now, so we've edited it. It looks like this, so we've got the same times. Um, just let me double check 8 till 12, 1, 2, 5, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8, 10. Yeah, it looks like the data is the same. Right, in J4, add a drop down list to select the day, which is this cell here. J4, uh, validation. And it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we can go to here, list, and the source. We can refer to these values here. Press OK. So we can select. And you'll notice um, the formatting, this is in red. So whatever gets entered in a cell needs to be in red. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. OK, done. So we've done that, done that. Right, in cells K5 to K17, so it's going to be, I'm assuming these cells here, K5, not K17, to K7, add formulas to 
calculate total sales for each period of the selected day. For example, with Wednesday selected, it will look like this. So this is going to be a bit tricky because we have different days now. The first one we just looked at um, the timings in the day. So if we did it on, so if we did it on this column for Monday and then we dragged it across, it automatically changed for Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that was straightforward. But this can be dependent on what we select in here. Okay, so we need to match up this uh, with this at some point. So we are going to be using a match function. So let me show you how that works. So match. If I'm looking up this, comma, I want to match it up with this value here, these values. And we want an exact match. So that's the first part. So this matches up in the first cell. Okay, Tuesday should be the second cell. Um, Wednesday is the next one, Thursday, Friday. So that's the first thing we're doing. Okay. And we're also going to have to use the index because what we need to do is return values from a specific column and range. So that's what the match function does. I'll leave it there for now. Um, index, what that does is index. So let's say this array here. Okay. I just want to check one thing. Do we need to use to name the ranges? I'm going to name these ranges again. I, it's not asking me to do it, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So how the index works is let's say we're looking at all of this information here. And what I want is to look in row one which would be this one here and column one and it's just going to output eight so which is the value in this cell here so the index if I just look at the um, description returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range okay Right, what we're going to do is what we need to find out. So if this was Monday and this is mon morning, we're just looking up this here. Okay, that's going to be what we're looking up. And if it wasn't uh, morning, it was afternoon, we'd be looking up this. Okay, and if it's all day, we're looking up and adding up these values here for the sales. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the index and match. So the index is to extract, to get the data basically. So if I go type in here index, actually before we do anything, let me just rename these cells again. So data was from here to here. Man, I lot, let me actually, so define name. You know what, I'm going to leave as it is. Um, just not let me do that again. Oh, I'll just leave it. Right, so let's do index. Maybe the way, there was a way to copy the named uh, ranges, but anyway. So index. And this is the data that we're going to be looking at. Comma. The row is going to be... We're not going to actually look refer to the row. We're going to refer to the columns because we're looking at different days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm just, just going to press a comma to get to column. And which column are we going to refer to? If I was to type in one, for example, you can see we got all the values from this first column here. So 898, 898, 7878, and then we've got this one here. And if I was to change this to two it's going to refer to this column here but we want to match it up to whatever's in this cell here so it's not going to be a number it's going to be a match function so match what we're looking up we're looking up this range here comma uh, we want to i'm sorry we want to 
look up this value here in this range and we want it to be an exact match so Monday should show me the first column okay let's close this down and if it changes to uh, Tuesday Wednesday you can see it's changing so that's the first part done okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this now because we're going to use that um, for the rest of the for this uh, second part of the question now what we're going to do is sum if the criteria is going to be the times so if it's morning we're just going to look from this point if it's uh, afternoon from this point okay and if it's all day here so you want to add the sales from particular points and then what I've just copied I'll add in at the end I hope that makes sense so equals sum if okay the range is going to be uh, the times so we're looking up the, in here okay comma so the morning is going to be less than or equal equals to 12 o'clock so this is a criteria less than or equals to 12 o'clock just put a colon in close the speech mark comma and where are we looking to add from so we're going to be looking to add from the range the index and match that we've done already so let me just copy that in close the bracket and enter so wednesday gives me 41 for the morning uh, what we're going to do is just copy this control c control v Uh, the ranges have moved, uh, that's a bit strange. Right, let me just. Try doing that again. Okay, so that's exactly the same. Okay, but what I'm going to do is now the criteria, the afternoon is going to be, um, it's basically going to be after 12 p.m. So we can do this. So after 12, okay, and that gives me 18, let's check, it. yeah, that's fine. And all day, let me just copy this. Oops. All day is just going to be a complete sum of the whole range. So there is no sum if, so basically it's going to be a sum Of what we had before 59 so 41 plus 18 is 59 so that's that part done and you can save your workbook okay guys join me in the next part of this video and I'll complete the last part um, this section where we're going to be creating a new sheet so we'll do that um, in the next part I'm just thinking now what to copy the cells All right just let me check one thing guys um what if i duplicated this so move or copy create a copy and move to the end so i'm just going back to the first one so this was of the first one. Oh, if i would have duplicated this duplicated this i would have kept uh the named ranges but okay it's fine for now at least at least we know i think when i do the next part um, I'll duplicate it okay right join me in the next video guys and hopefully uh, we'll complete this question paper